Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Stormcrow, guys. I really, really, really like the Stormcrow. It's a very versatile mech. And um, I actually grew fond of micro lasers. And today I wanted to check out what we can do with the Stormcrow and micro lasers in combination. As you can see, we have 10 of the ER micros on the arms. And then we have a large pulse laser here, a large pulse laser there, and an ER medium laser there. As you can see, there is no triangle telling us that we cannot alpha strike and that's the cool thing about it. The micro lasers actually are completely separated from all of the other lasers in terms of ghost heat or heat scale limit. That means that you can fire all of them together on top of anything else and that's pretty cool. Our alpha strike capacity is 54.5 but keep in mind guys as soon as you are in ER micro laser range they have a ridiculous low cooldown. That is about two seconds that means that you can fire a lot without generating so much heat even. So this is a great knife fighting brawling weapon. And if you focus on the single component going alpha once, then maybe a second time that's already 109 damage. That's a lot guys. If you if you go for a, the same component uh, twice, it's basically destroyed. In most of the cases, in most of the cases. Not all of them, but um, you get the point. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we have also something that we can shoot at mid-range early on so that we are not sitting there and waiting for the whole game to actually tighten the battlefield. The large pulse lasers combined with the medium laser here gives us some poking potential. And then when the time is right, we go in and we go super close range. That's the idea of the build. We have a bunch of skills as well. And as you can see, we are going for the laser duration. Definitely makes sense. Shortening the laser duration not only gives you um, a better focus on your laser beams, but it also shortens the cooldown time because the cooldown will only start after the weapon has fired. And if you make that firing time shorter, that means your cycle time in general will be faster. That is what the laser duration is all about. We also have some armor and skeletal density. As I was saying, we are a close range build and having some additional defense is really good. However, um, I'm not maxing it out because I have something else to prioritize and that is obviously cool run and heat containment. I want to be able to fight a lot or fire a lot, fire very often, because I need to be able to overwhelm the enemy in a very close range. And um, if I don't get that done, the enemies will out DPS me and I will die. The Stormcrow is not the most um, doable mag. It doesn't have the greatest hitboxes. So make sure that the enemies die before they can deal significant damage to you. And that's why we have more offense than defense here. We have a bit of radar deprivation that really helps getting into position without getting locked or locked so much. And then obviously double cool shot and I'm having a UAV to know what's going on around me before I make that push. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, the first game of the day. We are playing the Solaris City. We are playing Domination. We are probably going to the right side. Oh, look at that. There's a guy. Um, we have this radar dish between me and the enemies, which is actually good at the moment. I do not want to... Actually, my, whoa, 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 whoa. I wanted to say I do not want to go in and uh, fight early, but my teammates are going to the left side. Support the guys in Echo 5, guys. Echo 5 is going to be hot soon. Uh, yeah, this is also hot. Oh, my God. Uh, you know what I did? Y you saw what I did, right? I was trying to cross as quickly as possible towards my friends that are getting actually in a quite bad position. And um, that's what I get for it. Ow! So much early damage, 10% of my armor, just gone because of that. Guys, this is a very risky position that you took here. An extremely risky position. Hello. Oh, there they are. I see you, and you see me. Obviously. Yeah, because I'm the one on the front line again. Come on, guys. Find yourself a spot, please. <laughs> I don't know what my team is doing. I just, I, when I'm saying that, I say, I don't know. I literally say, I don't know what my team is doing. I cannot read their intentions at the moment, which is bad. Because then I cannot adjust to what they are trying to do. Uh, because this guy here, the Stormcrow that I'm playing, is not the one to lead the charge. Oh, come on, come on. Mm, what are you doing there? There are enemies to shoot. All right, all right, all right. Let's go down here. Let's see if we can find somebody. Yeah, there's actually in Uziel with a lot of light PPCs. He seems to be alone as well. All right. Hello, Uziel. I mean, that side also of yours, please. Hello. Goodbye. And now we turn around. We go for the splat dog. I need help in uh, the center, India. 
wasn't overridden. But it actually worked as a as a disguise here. What? Okay. I really want to shoot him again. And we got him. What? What? Okay. I have no idea. This is so messy. I'm sorry, guys. But this is so messy. This game. Oh, God. All right. Let's uh, go in the backs into Echo 5. Oh, my God. Guys, support support our Max in Echo 5, please. Please do it. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can go around here and uh, get a shot out. Not good. Not good, not good. The Sun Spider, if I can get an angle on this guy, it would be great. Mm, no, he's behind cover and everything. This is a guy. That's also a guy. Let's go for the guys first, okay? And then for the girls. I'll try. I'll try. Can I? Okay, we go for... No, he's, no, he's not dead. There we go. Now he is. Hello. Wait, that was the Sun Spider from earlier. From way earlier. Okay, we go down here. We shoot that. We go back. Ah, this guy really wants me dead. I can kill him though. He is not aware of what I can do to him. Mm-hmm. That's the cool thing. This thing has so much burst. Good. Hello, Irby. Hi. I'm not shooting Irby yet because he's focused on somebody else. What is that game? Okay, now we do it. Running through the center as much as possible. Going with the micros and get another kill. The micro lasers are so strong if you both them. This is so crazy, guys. This is so good. I love it. <laughs> Combine it with anything and you have a super short range knife fighter. But just the fact that you can use 10 of them and then anything on top of that. I love it. See, the enemies were like, oh, this is a Stormcrow and he's already messed up. And I'm like, ah. Uh, I, I got Alpha, and I'm gonna kill you, okay? And then I killed him. <laughs> Holy cow. We got four kills, we got five assists, we got three solo kills. Cool, four kill most damage dealt. Only 558 damage, but that's because we were extremely focused on center torso. And then seven components destroyed. That was the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing the HPT Manifold. We are playing Dominomination. And um, I want to go over to the Delta 5 area. Also, lucky eye with all the smalls that we have. So that we can keep shooting those guys. No, we are not in range. Okay, with the large lasers. The large pulses, actually. Now, where to go? Exactly, again, Delta 5. That's what I wanted to do. Meeting up with the big guys. That's important. And then we're gonna see if we can get into some nice knife fighting range here. With our ER micro lasers they are so cool they are so cool i was completely underestimating the value of them um but yeah since the uh, weapon group the heat scale weapon group heat scale group id whatever it is called it got reworked it is really cool to play that uh there's a guy on the left side by the way i don't want to go in there i don't want to push him first of all oh it's a piranha down there okay uh, Bobby, i think we shall let's go 200 meters i'll take top guys i'll take top would you come please all right, two alpha strikes. We took a lot of damage for that stunt here. However, I think it's definitely gonna be worth it. You don't want to do that. I also don't want to do that because I'm too hot. So the piranha lost an arm, that's good. Who's shooting me with the machine guns? Pling, pling, pling. Do we have teammates around? A bunch of them. Not enough, I would say. Not enough. Oh, this is where the fight happens now. I see. Uh, in that case... Hmm, either staying on top and poking, or going back down and trying to fight with the skirmishes there. I think that's what I want to do. Also, Shadowcat. Hello, Shadowcat. Can we go for this guy? We have a bunch of guys on the right side. I think he also has his piranha buddy. Okay, well, that's a side torso and a half. Target destroyed. Bum, 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 bada, bum, bum, bada. That's good. That is very good. Oh, hello, little one. Yeah, I, I need to go for the piranha first. Uh, he's probably trying to get down here. And now it's actually time to get out of here. Okay, I couldn't shoot through that gap. And instead, I will go around here. Is this a stealth dude? Is he... He's, he's black. I mean, no, no offense, but you're... you're uh, anyhow, this can only go sideways if I keep saying like that. Uh, yeah, the piranha. The piranha needs to go... Couldn't get him, and now it's time to dive down again. Uh, guys, could you defend the Delta 4 spot a bit better? 
You guys on top, could you could you help? That would be great. I'm afraid of the roughneck. I have to go. Let's maneuver. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We have two assault mechs here. However, I think if we go up top, it would be way better. So let's go down here. There's a Zeus on top as well. Hello, Zeus. That's a piranha. That was a piranha. And that was a Zeus for the longest time. Very good. Now we are four and one. We're gonna drop the second cool shot. Drop another mech, actually. Uh, right leg on the flea, Lima. He's legged now. That's good. That means that we can kill him from here, probably. Possibly. Uh, but I also need to take care of my armor. Yeah, center torso critical damage. Actually, let's go. I had enough of this. I want to kill on the Shadowhawk, actually. There's the flea in the back. Let's go. Hey, Shadowhawk. I know that you are very damaged. I did it myself. Oh, someone else got the kill, but that's fine. Uh, now the flea. I mean, obviously, we started to get him down and we want to finish him. Uh, we have, wait, an enemy here on the right side, which is a mad dog. All right, what are you doing down here? Okay, can we get him? Again, somebody else took the kill. All right. And I think this is the last thing that he did. I'm um, dropping that artillery thingy. Oh, let's go for it. Let's go! Come on, I want another <coughs> kill, but we didn't. Small yeah, ER micros, ER yeah, micro lasers, guys. Oh my god, so good. If you get into a situation like that here, um, as an HPG manifold where the field is very dense and the enemies are very close range, my god, that's so cool. We got another three kills, eight assists, and four kill most damage dealt with 633 damage done and 15 components destroyed. That is your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page, and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.